focus is right now, this idea of sustainable diversity and resident services are key to mobility and trying to overcome some of the inequality that characterizes this country. And I give voice credit now for trying to figure out how do you move that from being episodic to being long-term. Um, and I think it's, it's a, a very worthy goal and it will take a lot of hard work because real estate markets are unforgiving and patterns of racial segregation are entrenched in Chicago. And we cannot ignore the differences among us. We need to come together around them, but we cannot ignore that there are differences and that uh, what work here may not work there. And so I applaud Voices and what it's done in Uptown. One of the things I've been impressed by, and I think it's really important work that's going on at Voice, is the thinking and the strategic effort to try and uh, not only manage and develop affordable housing, but develop ways to sustain it for the long term so that the community can count on and rely on that housing stock always being kept as affordable. That helps avoid issues like gentrification that we see in a lot of communities. It helps the integrity and the community that's already living there. The kind of novel strategies and ideas that Mike and Voice is coming up with right now are real important models. What are the next steps of, of, of enabling a community to remain diverse and inclusive and economically stable? The urgency has even grown greater. If we're going to assure Uptown's future as Chicago's most economically and racially diverse community, we really need to have new strategies to address that. And that's why I think the leadership of the Voice of the People in promoting the creation of a diversity land trust is so critical. It is essential not just for Uptown, but for all of Chicago. It is an opportunity be having innovative strategies and program implementation to assure a sustainable diversity. And one of the key things for that is to provide property tax relief. We are now exploring with experts all around town how we can formulate a community land trust we're calling a diversity land trust. The owners, the participating members, would have to demonstrate their commitment to affordable housing permanently. That would help us to win property tax relief that is significant and also to win access to resources, subsidies, and programming to help keep our buildings economically and socially viable over time. What's unique about Uptown um, is that it is both uh, a high-income community and a low-income community, and it has a middle-income community. So in many ways, it has a really healthy mix of incomes, and those are the very communities where you want to make sure that the lower quartile of incomes aren't pushed out and become less economically diverse. And by using additional layer of a land trust, you're putting in some more belt and suspenders around the perpetual affordability of those properties. And we want to make sure that those folks aren't pushed out. And the Diversity Land Trust is a unique model to ensure that hundreds, if not thousands, of fixed income working individuals and families are kept in neighborhoods of opportunity like Uptown indefinitely. For us to have success in setting up a community land trust, we'll need the support of lenders, investors, government at different levels. And most importantly, we need to make a commitment that economically diverse communities is what we want, that we actually want sustainable diversity. And to do that, affordable housing is a key component. And I think if a decade from now or two decades from now, we wanted to measure our collaborative success, it's going to be that diversity is still here and is thriving in Uptown. Voices is really a key vehicle and partner in maintaining that ability to kind of have that respect for the community that it's serving and continue to see the diverse populations that live here have a safe and affordable home that they can always count on.